Hey YouTube, AB3945 here, coming to you today with the trade me unboxing slash unbagging and review. So let's just quickly get into this package. I was able to afford this package because I sold my basic Series 61 Sami Zayn figure. I was actually pretty broke, I had no money before that. So that's how I was able to afford this and I've been looking for this figure or a figure like this for a while so I want to use that torso to eventually make an Undertaker custom the, the, and I want to make an elite version of the Elimination Chamber 2010 basic Undertaker figure so here we are, uh, I'll just unwrap it as you can see it is Elite Series 4 Kane they said it is in good condition. I, as long as the torso is fine, I'm happy. I'll just get the towel out. So here's the figure. Looks great, actually. I, I believe the chain is broken. I don't think it's supposed to just be around his ankles. I think it's supposed to go up to his wrists as well. But that's fine. I don't need the accessory. I'll get it off in a minute, but I'll just try and stand this figure up. And I'll put the towel over his head. Very nice figure. I have the Elite Series 10 cane. But I don't want to open that up to make a custom. I don't know when I'm going to get around to making that Undertaker custom. But I finally have a figure to be able to make it with. So yeah, let's get into the review. For this review, I'm just going to ignore the chains because they're broken. And I don't ever want to put them back on the figure. So let's look at the towel. Fits on his head nicely. And it's easy to take off. Here's a good look at it. You can see all the detail in it. Which I really like. And now to the figure. He has a smirking look on his face. It's actually a rather funny cane head sculpt. But I've seen pictures with the angry head on it. I'll actually show you that in a minute. Uh, on this figure and the head sits too high on the body so I think they've put this head on there for a reason moving down he has the two big black elbow pads he has a glove on the right hand and wrist tape on the left wrist and on his tights he has the red barbed wire I believe it looks really cool goes all the way around I think he kept these same tights from 2003 to 2010 so he's had th those for a very long time it's a great look for him and to close it all off he has the tall black boots now here's our first comparison this is basic series 8 cane next to the elite series 4 cane as you can see this one has a different head to that one this one has the medium sized elbow pads while this one has the bigger elbow pads which in my opinion is more accurate to that one this one doesn't have the detail on the side of the glove like this one does this one has the holes and whatnot and this one doesn't and of course the tight designs are different this is um, later in Kane's career and this is a bit earlier now we have the comparison between the Elite Series 10 Kane and Elite Series 4 Kane these figures are very similar, but there are a few differences between the two. First, this one has a longer glove. This one is shorter. This one has a wrist cuff, I think, on the glove. This one has the different tight designs, the same as the Basic Series 8 cane figure. And this one has glossy boots, while these boots are plain. You can't see the gloss on camera, but it's there. I actually prefer this figure because the accessories are better. And I like this run of Kane better because this is when he was really dominant as the World Heavyweight Champion. In my opinion, he was the most dominant in his entire career at this time. Even more dominant than when he first came in because when he first came in, he could not beat The Undertaker. But at this time, he beat The Undertaker in three pay-per-views in a row. Night of Champions, Hell in a Cell and Bragging Rights. But this is still a great figure because it covers a longer time period. 
Now this comparison is not necessary, but I thought I'd chuck it in anyway. This is from when he first came in, and this comparison just shows how quickly his look changed. And it's changed even more dramatically since. But I don't have a Kane figure with his current look, unfortunately. So this is the best we are going to get. So that will bring us to the end of this unboxing and review. I hope you enjoyed it. I recommend this figure to people who are looking for a Kane from anywhere between 2003 to 2010. I recommend this figure more than the Elite Series 10 Kane because this, of course, covers a longer time period. So yeah, thank you for watching and subscribe.